Every single blade of grass and every flake of snow are just a wee bit different. There's no two alike, you know, from something small like grains of sand to each gigantic star. Each were made with this in mind to be just what they are. How foolish it is to imitate. How useless to pretend. Since each of us comes from a mind whose ideas never end. There will only be just one of me to show what I can do. And likewise, you should feel so proud that there's only one of you. Because that is where it all begins. With you, a wonderful, infinite human being. James Moore. That poem is called One and Only You. It's written by James Moore. And I heard Mr. Bob recite it the first time three years ago. And I fell in love with it. And I heard him share it again Friday. And it speaks to the truth of who and what we are and why we are here, doesn't it? To bring that infinite potential out of us to the surface so we can live those impossible goals and dreams and desires that we have. Now, as an illusionist, it was my job for 20 years to come up with impossible concepts and work my way backwards and bring them out to the world for one purpose and one purpose only, to have the audience go, how did you do the trick? And, you know, after 20 years, that became quite unfulfilling. I remember one time I was on a cruise ship in Mexico and we had just, just fireworks going off and two Holly Davidsons on stage appeared out of nowhere with five dancers on top. And somebody came up to me afterwards and said, I think I know how you did that. And I'm like, whatever. I didn't care anymore. It wasn't fulfilling just to have people go, how did you do the trick? But for 14 years, I had studied personal growth and never done much with it, though. But then it hit me one day, what if I could leave the audience with a lasting impression so that they could take something tangible home and apply it? That's when the idea was born for what I'm doing today, merging personal growth with magic in a concept called Real Magic Live, which is the world's first seminar and show in one. Don't know where the show starts, you don't know where the seminar ends, it's one immersive experience. Today, there's three concepts I would like to uncover with you. First, we are going to uncover the magic word together, because there is a magic word, and when we understand it, work with it, and express it, everything in our lives starts to change. Then we're going to take a look at how much we're worth. Because self-image sets the boundary for how far we're going to go. There's no doubt about it. And lastly, you and I are going to be planting the seed for achievement so that we can live with inner truth for the rest of our lives. If you're on board, raise your hand. Awesome. Let's get going right now. Are you ready? Perfect. Now, let's go into a little test to make sure if you're really ready for this. I'm going to ask you to extend your arms all the way out to your hands. See what I did there? Okay, you're awake. Thank you. Good. Good, good. So far, so good. I'm going to ask you to turn your uh, thumbs down like this. Cross your right hand over the left hand like this and interlock. But thumbs down. Yeah, thumbs down, sweetie. So you have the right hand over the left hand with the thumbs down. Do we all agree? Yes. If you successfully allowed me to deceive your senses, which I hope is the case, then you would not be able to do this. Good, that's a good sign. So far, so good. Give yourself a big round of applause. Let's get started on the first concept. Let's uncover the magic word together. And this is important. This is an interactive illusion. It will not work unless you give it your full, undivided attention. All right? This goes for the live streamers too. At home, turn off all distractions, push the uh, mute button on your kids if they have one. <laughs> Go to a place where you can do this uninterrupted. As we know, there's two factors to consider in results. There are main causes and the effects of those main causes. All throughout this program, this weekend, we've been working with main causes, which is an amazing thing. On this board, there are eight words, divided into two categories. Main causes, which are in the blue fields, and the effects of those causes in the yellow. Now, if you cannot read those words on this screen, I need for you to take notes. If you cannot read those words on this screen, I need to find a piece of paper and write this out in front of you. All right? 
and live streamers, I want you to get as close to the screen as possible. I want you to get so close to the screen that you can actually touch the screen. And no, it doesn't make sense. It's silly, but you have a license to be silly. Go all in. The yellow fields are the effects. The blue fields are the main causes. I want you to write this out, this diagram, if you can't read the words. Just follow along here. We have income, <coughs> paradigms, relationships, feelings, thoughts, health, attitude, and freedom. All right? So how many are writing these down? How many feel the need to write them down? Okay, good. Keep going. Do you want me to repeat them? Are we good? Income. Paradigms. Relationships. Feelings. Thoughts. Health. Attitude. Freedom. I need for you to choose an effect that you desire in your life. One of the yellow fields, whether that be income, health, relationships, or freedom. Choose one and only one for yourself in your mind. This is an illusion that only takes place in one place. That is your mind. In fact, illusions cannot exist anywhere else but in the mind. So you've got one? That was a question. We're having a dialogue this morning. Do we have an effect chosen? Whoa, all right, thank you. <laughs> in one of the yellow fields, we've got one. Perfect, hone in on it, focus on it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to move five times from that yellow field. But first, let me explain how this works. Let's say you chose health. You could go like this. One, two, three, four, and five. Or you could go the other way. From health, that would be one, two, three, four, five, and so on, all right? You follow the lines, up, down, right, left. You cannot move diagonally, all right? So start out from the yellow field that you chose, the effect that you chose, and we're going to move five times. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. You are on a new field. I don't know which one it is, but you need to keep track of it. Keep all of your conscious attention on the new field you just landed on now because that will be your next starting point. So don't let go of it. Don't lose track of it, all right? Stay on that new field. While you're there and I'm here and you're watching on the live stream, maybe thousands of miles away, I know we all make different choices throughout our lives, but I also know one thing. Our minds work the same way. And our minds always lead us to the truth if we're good enough and listening. And that's what you're doing here. In this moment, I know you're not on income, so I'll remove that. And I have a feeling that you didn't choose freedom either. I'll take that one away. That leaves us with a bit fewer options. But I want you to move three more times to make it even more random. Three more times from the last fields you landed on. All right? You're with me? Three more times from the last field you landed on. Here we go. One, two, three. Stop right there. Don't move anywhere else. That will be your next starting point, so don't lose track of it. Stay right there. Individual choices all over the place. We're all making random choices. But I have a feeling that you're not here, so I'll take that one away. And... It's a paradigm shift seminar, but for some reason you're not there either. That leaves three options. I'm going to ask you to move three more times from the last field you landed on. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, and three. Stop right there. Don't move. If you've done this right, your mind has guided you to the truth. Because the magic word is... Attitude. Attitude. 
attitude. Thank you. So what is attitude? How we, do we define it? Because doctors tell patients, we've done what we can, now it's up to your attitude. Counselors tell couples, we've done what we can, now the rest is up to your attitude. We tell kids in school, attitude is all you need. But what is it? Do we know how to define it? In most cases, the answer is no. 14 years ago, I read the first book on personal growth. Dr. Joseph Murphy, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. Best book in the world, in my opinion. It's so good. And I learned there was two parts to the mind. At the time when I read this, I was performing magic for tips. I had just left my home country of Denmark. Literally left everything behind in the pursuit of, of more. And I was living in Miami. I was performing magic for tips in local restaurants and bars. And a 20 bucks a night was a good night for me. I went from that to performing and producing multi-million dollar production shows and five-star cruise ships all around the world in one year. Well, thank you, but I'm not saying that to impress anyone. I'm just using that as an illustration because I just did what Dr. Murphy talks about. I started using affirmations that were foreign to me in the beginning, but I went from that to that in such a short amount of time and I knew it was an accident. I knew it had something to do with what I read and what I applied, but I couldn't share it. I couldn't articulate it. It wasn't until I was at a, my first Paradigm Shift seminar that I learned more about the stick person that Mr. Bob is sharing as the genie, because it really is. And the stick person illustrates so beautifully the two parts of the mind expressed in the physical body. And that's when it clicked. That's attitude. As we know, it's the composite of thoughts, feelings, and actions in a person. It's not just the feelings. It's not just the actions. It's the composite of all three that makes it for a fantastic attitude. So bad attitude, bad results. All our results today are just an expression of our past attitudes. So there's one question we should ask ourselves. Is it the results in our life that's giving us our, our, our thinking? Or is it our newfound thinking that is giving us our results? Because those are the two different ways of living. One is prison, in my opinion, and one is freedom. But as we start working this concept, you work a main cause in your life. An attitude will give us anything we can possibly dream of. Thoughts on a conscious level becomes the emotions on a subconscious level, as we know, becomes the physical expression within through the body, and that produces results in the world of effects as the fourth step. So as we work with this, we work with the main cause of results. We had a participant in Denmark. She, in the middle of her life, decided to stop her job. She didn't know what she wanted, but she wanted to discover her purpose. And her family thought she was nuts, <laughs> but she did. Three months later, it came to her. She wanted to do something so different than she had ever done before in a new field, but had no experience, no job offer, nothing. Can you imagine how her paradigms were fighting her? But she built a winning attitude. She learned this concept, she worked with it. She built the attitude required of a winner in her field. She attracted the right opportunity. She got hired by the biggest production company in the country. She was paid more than people who's been there for 10 years. Why? Because the person that hired her understand that attitudes cannot be bought. But skills can be taught to the person with the right attitude. And that is truly the magic word. Thank you. How much are you worth? <clears throat> Anders, how much have you ever earned in a year? <laughs> that was an uncomfortable question. Mr. Bob asked me that three years ago when we first met. I'll never forget it. Never in my life had I articulated that to anybody, really, and let alone the person I admired most in the world. That was incredibly uncomfortable. Even just a sharing it out loud made me feel disappointed in myself. It made me feel embarrassed. But most importantly, it made me realize that I was living way below my potential. Can you recognize that concept? Yeah. Absolutely, I felt just not great. And I remember going back to my hotel room, I slammed the hand in the table, I looked myself in the mirror, and I started demanding more of myself. When Arash mentioned decision Friday, 
it spoke to me because that is exactly what I did in that moment. I made a decision of never going back to the person that compromised on virtually everything in his life. Never again. And I did everything Mr. Bob taught me. You see, self-image controls everything in our lives. It is the way we dress, it is the way we travel, it is the way we interact with people. How much we earn, certainly. We can never earn more than what we feel we're worth. And people think it's about running faster and working harder. They, and they can certainly do that, but that won't change the needle until they start feeling worthy. And that was the missing link for me. It was like when Mr. Bob shared that and he followed up by saying, Anders, you are not getting the results you want because you're not programmed to produce them. And if you want the results, you have to change your programming. Ding! That, it, you, you've had those Edison moments, right? The light bulb moments. I'm sure you've had many of them here this weekend. But that was my light bulb moment. I mean, it was literally like Edison crawling into my head and <laughs> flicking on the switch himself. I mean, that, that's really how it felt like. Finally, I understood this. Have you experienced going into a clothing store and the first thing you do is look at the price before you look at what you like? I know I have. Be honest. Yeah, good, all right. Or how about, how about this one? I think this is a really good one. You go into a restaurant and you look at the prices on the menu before you decide what your taste buds would love to experience. Or how about traveling? Ooh, this is a good one. I've been guilty of this for years. Have you ever experienced sitting and looking for flight tickets? You know you have to go somewhere, maybe paradigm shift, <laughs> who knows? And, and you search for hours, maybe you spend two hours searching for the right ticket and you save, you save, two, you save $100 and you feel, you feel accomplished, you know, I saved the, I know I have done that. What are we communicating to ourselves? You're not worth more than 50 bucks an hour? We could spend the same two hours thinking about how we're going to earn a million. But we don't, do we? We really don't. We let the paradigm take over and let that self-worth run the show for us. When I got that and I started working with it, I went from having an eviction notice on my door to 11 months later buying the dream car that I always wanted to drive. But, thank you, but it's not something I say to impress anyone. I just feel if I can do it, the whole world can. I mean, no, seriously, I just became a a very intelligent follower. I was an unintelligent unfollower. <laughs> I mean, that's really who I was. But I started taking guidance, and we all should do that. So if you're considering joining one of the PGI programs, you, you, have, you cannot afford not to. You can't. When you're here, you need to speak to one of the extraordinary coaches and really let them help you understand this concept even better. So if, if you have felt in a situation that you knew there was more to you than you were living. Maybe even now it creates some dissatisfaction. Raise your hand if that's the case. Yeah, perfect. Young lady, I'm gonna need your help. Please join me on stage, give her a big round of applause. Thank you. So join me right over here, please. Perfect, how do you pronounce your name? Milfrey. Milfrey, all right. Welcome, Milfrey, and, and thank you for being so brave. I know this takes courage. You know, Milfrey, we are here because we're looking to grow, right? We're looking to bring more out of ourselves, yeah? Yes. I would like for you to just sort of just face the audience and now just relax completely. Just let go of your hands. Take a deep breath, and then as you exhale, close your eyes. Completely perfect. You're doing great, Milfrey. I want you to go back to a time in your life where you felt like what we just talked about. You felt you were living not up to your purpose. You felt maybe a little disappointed in yourself. Maybe you felt like I did, just, just angry at myself and dissatisfied. Can you think of such a time? Perfect. Take that moment in right now. Just bring it into this moment. How does that make you feel now? Shaking. Shaking, wow. <laughs> It's good, you're doing wonderful, Milfrey. If you had to put a word on that emotion, what would it be? And where in your body would it be located? Your stomach. Great, that is exactly where it was for me back then. Cringing feeling in my stomach. Milfrey, we're gonna step out of that moment again. We're gonna go to a different time in your life where you were living confidently. There was a moment, maybe a short moment in time that made you feel confident and proud. There was a moment that made you feel so good about yourself. It was just a short period of time, maybe, or maybe it was longer, but can you think of that moment? Yes. Perfect. Bring that moment into this moment. Bring it into the now. And let that feeling just expand 
in your being. You're doing wonderful, Milfrey. Where would that new feeling be located if you had to? My mind. Perfect, mind. So you feel stronger, you feel sharper. If you had to put some words on it, what would they be? I'm right here. You're right here. Do you see a change in her? Huge. Wow. You feel it? Oh my God. Yeah, you're here. I'm here. You're here. Yeah. And you're here for the win. Yes. Now, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. You see this change in her state? Just by connecting to that, you're here. I'm here. You're here. And you have infinite potential. And you can take that energy and direct it any way you want. So we're going to take it a step further. Remember the, uh, the light bulb I talked about? It won't light up until we put power to it in a cord. It won't. But, you know, we can experiment with this. Because you and I, Milfrey, we have 11 million kilowatt hours per pound of potential energy locked up in the electrons and molecules of our bodies. 11 million kilowatt hours per pound. Now, if I can do this, you can. I'm just controlling the flow. I'm ready. You're ready? Yes. Good. I need for you to take a few steps forward. I need for you to uh, raise your, like, extend your right arm like this, create a socket with your hands. Uh, your fingers, rather. Perfect. And I want you to stay in that vibration, stay in the energy of being here, of being ready. You got it? Yes. Perfect, Milfrey. Keep thinking about that. Hold the energy. You did that. You have more power than you could possibly imagine, and you're starting to direct it to the right place. Does it take a light bulb to experience this? Of course not. It's an illustration, but you're controlling the energy because you're here. Give her a big round of applause. Eleven million kilowatt hours per pound of potential energy locked up in the atoms and molecules of your body. How are you directing that energy? And what are you trading it for? And will you decide before the light runs out? I'm not talking about the light bulb, I'm talking about the light within us. Eleven million kilowatt hours per pound of potential energy. That is about 20 $3 million on the going market for energy. That's how much you're worth and more. Thank you. Yeah. Are you ready to plant the seed for achievement? Yeah. Wonderful. What I'm talking about is truth. The seed for achievement is truth. Not the kind of truth we hear a lot about, but it's inner truth. It is a concept called praxis. It is the integration of belief with behavior. Many of our beliefs are of a conscious nature. They are not integrated. If somebody had asked me 14 years ago if I believed I was honest, I would say, of course I'm honest. I had become a master at lying to myself. A master. Growing up in an environment where you just follow along with the gang, you go to the school because they go to that school, you uh, go out and drink every weekend because they go out and drink every weekend, you play in the band because they played in the band, you date the type of people you did because they did it. All those years, that inner dissatisfaction kept building and building and building because I knew it wasn't me. To a point where my body started breaking down. I became sick because I compromised my inner truth for the majority of my life. To a point where I made a decision of leaving my home country. It had nothing to do with Denmark. In fact, I love the country. Jeg elsker jer danskere som livestreamer lige nu. Tusind tak fordi jeg har det virkelig en stor ære for mig. Jeg glæder mig til at komme til Danmark med Real Magic Live i juni. Så vi ses til den tid. That was, that was Danish. In English it means, good morning. The country is beautiful, but I had become a product of my environment to such a degree that my inner truth was compromised on a daily basis. The moment I decided to remove myself from the environment, everything started to shift. The integration of belief with behavior is an important concept. 
So I would like to illustrate this with an illusion. You ready for that? Let's do this. All right. So I say I believe a whole lot of things, and we all do, probably. So on this side, we're going to write down our beliefs, what we believe. And on the other side, we have behavior. Mm, this is so good. It's one of my favorites. Illusion. Inner truth is the integration of belief with behavior. Now, what is a common belief? I think a lot of people have. Certainly, I would say I believe I can multiply my income. Who's with me on that? Yeah. Absolutely. We say we can, be, we can definitely multiply income, right? I totally believe that. Today's Sunday. You know, we have these leads and all these opportunities, but I'll call them on Friday because there's that Netflix thing I need to get to, right? So we say we believe that we can multiply our income, but are we actually acting on it when the opportunity shows up? Do, in many cases, we don't, right? What should we do? If that belief is integrated in our system, how would we act? What should we act on on a daily basis? Anybody? Throw something at me. Goals. Just words, not things. <laughs> you said goals? Goals. All right. We should definitely act on our goals every day. Perfect. I like that. Let's do a few more. I definitely, this was a big one for me. I believe I'm honest. Can you recognize that? Who believe they're honest? Raise your hand if you believe you're honest. Yeah, I believed that too for many years, but I wasn't honest to myself. You know, and that's what we're talking about here. So we say we're honest, but then we go to a social setting, you know, group of friends, somebody start to talk about somebody who's not there. Negatively, do we say something? Do we speak up in that person's defense or do we sort of go with it? Nobody's getting hurt. That's a compromising situation. We're compromising what we know is the truth and what we know is right. What should we do? Speak up. I'm honest and I'm always speaking up. I like that. All right. You see, it, it's, it's amazing. We live with this every day. This is not just two, three times in our lifetime. This is, happens on a daily basis. This morning, I was getting ready to compromise my truth. I was. I was getting ready, put on a suit, put on a tie, because I figured, you know, it's, a, it's the environment here, it's a proper thing to do. And I was down here, I was practicing, I was moving around, I'm like, this is so uncomfortable. I never wear ties on stage because I can't move, they get in the way. And then it hit me, dang, I'm compromising my truth. What am I doing to, in, in order to try and fit in and be proper? What the heck? So I went right back up to my room, changed my whole outfit and came back like this. Because you, it happens all the time, doesn't it? What's right for me might not be right for you, but how often do we go along with the crowd? What is one more? I believe, and this is something we're definitely learning this weekend, we have infinite potential. Right? Infinite potential, P stands for potential. I believe I have infinite potential. Yes, I do. Paradigm shift is over, I go home, and now I'm gonna rock the world. Believe I have infinite potential. Who believe they have infinite potential? If you don't by now, you should. Beautiful, I need to see all hands up, come on. Yes, great. How many find themselves in a job they don't like that's giving them results they don't want? Be honest, some, good, all right. That's a perfect example. If I believe I have infinite potential, I would never allow myself to stay in a job I don't like that's giving me results I don't want, and I'm probably also afraid to get fired at the same time. That belief is not integrated. What should we do? Quit. Say that again? Quit. Quit! Love it. Absolutely. Quit. Do it sooner than later. Quit. There. 
Do it before you leave this seminar, because if you don't make the advanced decision, <laughs> I challenge you to do that. I challenge you to do that, and it's going to scare the crap pull out of you. But believe me, if you can't do it today, you won't do it tomorrow. The moment you go home, the paradigm is going to snap you back into conformity, and you're going to compromise on the truth again. So how do we take our beliefs and match them with our behavior? How do we turn these beliefs of a conscious nature into our behavior? How do we do that? Well, that's why we're here, isn't it? It's done through a process that we're taught by uh, Mr. Bob and Sandy. It is very effective. It is something that served me so incredibly well over the, just the last three years. Rewiring our subconscious mind to start thinking differently. And we do that through what we call constant space repetition. And from a logical standpoint, it makes absolutely no sense, does it? None. But when we understand this, and we understand these concepts better and better and better as we're doing this weekend, we can take our beliefs, we can integrate them with behavior, and when we do, we'll have found inner truth. Are you ready to create real magic? absolutely had nothing going for me. I didn't. I was broke, I was sick, I was unhappy. At that moment, something clicked in me. Because I had read about these concepts, I had studied Bob, and I figured, well, if it's true what he's saying, I can decide right now that I'm going to be working with the best in the world in personal growth, that I can turn my annual income into my weekly income, that I'm driving my dream, I can do all these things. If I become good enough at shutting down my senses, like Sandy taught us yesterday, such a beautiful concept. So I started doing that with an eviction notice on my door. It was highly illogical. Highly illogical. But as she said, duly illogical. So I did. Two months later, my partner had to go to work. He worked at the Bellagio at the time. And he said, I'm going to work. I don't have to. I'm going to work because we're going to be busy. And in that moment, my intuition kicked in and told me to go an hour early to pick him up. <laughs> what? My intellect was debating my intuition. That made no sense at all. Why should we go an hour early, right before New Year's, busy? But I did. I decided to follow my intuition. I parked the car, I started walking around, and guess who I ran right into? I felt in that moment I had won, I mean, not just the lottery, but the lottery of the universe. I mean, that was so incredible, and I also felt guilty for interrupting him. But then I had Michael Jordan's quote play in my mind that said, you lose 100% of the shots you don't take. Yes. And so I decided to walk over and introduce myself. And it has been an incredible journey. I cannot recognize the person that walked over to Mr. Bob that day. But I would like to bring him out here if he's around. Mr. Bob? Give Andrews a big hand. Okay. Come on. That was very cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. You want to go and see, you want to go see his Real Magic Live show. 
When he's running a program, I'd recommend you go to it. When is your next one? So we're doing a tour uh, of Europe this summer, and we end in Las Vegas. So we do Estonia, Germany, Denmark uh, in June, and it's on realmagiclive.com. All the dates and the places. About Vegas. Wait, Vegas. Uh, Lisa, have we hunkered? October. Okay, she's she's running the show for me. She's my boss. October. October in Vegas. Yeah. So we round off the tour with with Vegas. Very good. And but Mr. Bob, you see. You had so much to do, and you're such a productive person, and you could have done so many other things, but offering me to sit down with me and talk to me on January 2nd of 17, but you did that, and you were so gracious with your time, and it has changed everything, everything. I mean, it brought an idea to life, and I had to borrow your belief in me in the beginning. I didn't believe in it myself, but when you said, that's a heck of a good idea, I borrowed your belief in me, and today we're doing a global tour with that concept. But not Very good. But I figured, what do you give a man that has, you know, the biggest hookup to infinite supply? I mean, you, know, you must have had that moment with Raymond Stanford. What in the world could you give to that person? So I decided to tap into my creativity and combine the concept of the infinite flow of supply with an illusion. And I had it built, and it took about three, four months' time, but it's down here, so if you wouldn't mind coming with me. And so if we can have some light on it, that would be wonderful. It's the infinite faucet of supply. Read it. <laughs> so, it is for you, wherever you can fit it, in your studio, outside the studio, but it says, it, it says on it. <laughs> Read it. Read the thing. So, it says on it, from my heart to yours, thank you for waking me up from living an illusion myself and seeing the truth. As a result, hundreds all over the world have already transformed their lives by becoming aware of the infinite faucet of supply. Millions will do the same in the years to come. It is so forever. Your eternally grateful friend, Anders. Wow. I hope you streamers can see that. That is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> it was nothing. <laughs> I hope the streamers get the camera on there. That is very cool. And there's some pressure behind it because the water keeps splashing out. <laughs> well, hold on a minute. It's... You get all my wonderful gifts out here. <laughs> <laughs> It's so, 